Hi guys, and in this episode of How the Red Game 2 Works, I'm going to show you how the mode and stuff works. I'll begin with the LU. So basically this black thing over here is anything mode or function related. Anything that does not relate to RAM, go to, or, well, nothing really. And then it goes through the black thing. Function setting to perform or change ALU or GPU mode bits. So this decides whether it's an ALU or GPU function. As you can see, there's quite a lot of different functions. It splits. So this thing's got three stages, as many of them do. So basically, when the command is executed, it goes through here, down this down here. It either goes that way or that way. That way to GPU, that went to ALU. So we'll begin with ALU. ALU goes into these four data flip-flops. They're all designed. I now use the dude flop because it's awesome and I made it and it's compact and it's awesome and such. As you can see it's quite cramped in here. There's three layers of wiring here. <laughs> 3-bit LU command, and this last one over here is the inverts. Basically, the command goes in here, and when that little clock strikes, where the little clock go? The master clock executor, there you are. When it says function, let's time for the function, which is the last thing that happens. Where it goes all the way here, all the way, oh, I'm just gonna fly, uh, into this the function selector, which is basically stage one. It's a tiny little thingamajig. Splits it to either ALU or GPU. It gives a quick pulse, because this is the clock. Very simple little device, but it does so much. So it sets the data flip flops to whatever's here. With these decide, this is still part of stage one, by the way. Um, Wait, there's a stage 2, I think. Yeah. Um, what these decide is... We'll store the f current function, because it's LU function, we're updating the LU. This decides what the LU does. Okay, so now we know what the LU needs to do. But the LU still needs to do it. That's where stage 3 comes in. So I'll just squeeze through here. It goes down here. Into this decoder. Except for the inverted bit, which bypasses the decoder and goes through here. Into the holy inverter. Uh, my XOR gate design. Very early XOR gate design, but it's an XOR. Um, so, glitch that was reported. Thanks. Yeah, so, anyways, the function goes into here to whatever the LU is. Now, I may have explained registers in a previous video. They basically go into these, the blue or the green. They enter the LU. LU performs the function, which is described in the first... Well, it's not even a part of the episode, it was just a secret to speed and how it works. Then goes up to this grey thing, then up to the orange thing. And then bust very strangely to try and avoid the random number generator. Go into this scene here. It's actually quite a false process. But so anyways, this decides what the function is that it's actually doing. Why doesn't this happen up there, you may ask? Because that's quite a lot of wires that need to be transferred through the floor. And as you can see here, there's much more space. Why can't we just do it all here? Because it's also inefficient. And it's, yeah, it's all organized and everything happens in sync. What's this wire here? Oh yeah, that's controls the random number generator. Okay, so that's how the LU works. I'll show it in working order just now. All GPU related things. Wait. All GPU things go through this side. Down the bus this way. Over these RAM control wires and underneath these RAM control wires. The registers. Control wires, whatever. Go. They also have a decoder, but a very, very small one. Just this. 
There's three combinations. And nothing. It's programmed to do nothing as well. Easy your lag. Mm, general purpose indicator is controlled here. It's through a data flip flop. It also goes through that little thing which you over there. All the way over here. To these data flip flops. To this executor. It's basically a massive AND gate stretched out so I have faster ticks. And then this flies off. That's stage 3, I'm guessing. You could call it that. No, wait, stage 3 is back here. Yeah. Well, you could call this thing stage 3. Or some. No, wait, these. Stage 3 of the GPU. Those things. I'll give you a quick explanation of how the GPU works. Basically, you have four registers X1, Y1, X2, Y2. The values go all the way from back there. Zoom right into here. Yes, this was MC edited, that's why there is grass. Too lazy to do this bussing, it's massive. And then goes into these four decoders. So now we have the two values. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, we have X and Y only. And they go into this thing, which is a 1D line drawer. It draws a one-dimensional line. So, if this point and this point were given, all those lines in between would be on, if it was set to draw a line. So that's how it draws boxes, hollow boxes, and pixels, if you turn it off. Then, there's two... D there's two 1D shapes. Go up the Andex Tower, which is also a massive AND gate. Explaining the name. Pre inverted here. Fling over here. Into this old RAM model. I'm now making a new one of these GPUs. It's got a better RAM. I should probably show you. If you're interested, I'll make a video for it. Just tell me in the comments. The GPU itself is not done, but the RAM is pretty awesome actually three bits of RAM. So anyways, this goes all the way down to the screen. Little black box. Displays the pixels over there. So yeah, that's um, how the thing works. Oh yeah, and I forgot to tell you. If the thing is basically a collider. And yeah, it's hard to explain. Any data that's like XY clash draws a shape and it's how it works so efficiently. So I'm once again going to try and show you something. To try and show you the how the LE works. Gonna have to run. I'm on my way. You can see the register changed there. It's changed the values. Uh, there's a function. It just went off. It performed it. It should be outputting them. Well, it should have already outputted it there. there. I was just too late. Hey, darn it. Well, anyways, to summarize what just happened. Or what probably has happened. That's like number one goes in here, number two goes in there they get put into their respective red bar things the AND function was chosen add you know, like one plus one equals two except it did two plus two which is four and went into these it didn't invert it flung them onto these lines if I could just squeeze through it went into here this saved into the RAM. The RAM is then loaded onto these registers and it flew all the way back there into this register. And saved to it. And then the screen was updated via this. 
which by the way is a GPU function or should be so yeah I wonder if it actually did anything I'll leave a set to subtract maybe oh wait did I even enter a number? no it didn't enter a number well then obviously there's nothing in the registers let's try that again that's just to bypass the waiting system. Okay. I'm going to use the screw this method of breaking through the wall. Okay, so in the registers, it's currently saving the values to RAM. Loaded the one value, saves the value to RAM. Should load the same value over there. There it is. Now, over here, there it is, add. And now through here, there it is. Oh, there it was. It was. Too late. Yeah, and there, there you can still see the. F Darn. And it's probably down here by now if you. No, I just missed it. Well, let's fly back over there, and we should see the value 4. Oh look, here it is. If you understand binary, you know that that is 4. It should, this should have updated. And the number 4, there it is. Ain't that awesome? Computer turned itself off. Way too fast for me. What is this stone doing here? Oh, I'll clean that up later. Um, so once again, the Red Game 2 is way too fast for me to show you how it works. It seriously is freaking fast. It's, I might need to turn down the clock if you want to see this thing actually working. Or you can use manual tick. Which I said I was going to use, but it didn't. Forgot about it. Only remembered now. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, thanks for watching again.